Hello everybody and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within this cursed estate and we are ready to head out on some more adventures, try and level people up and get ready for some potential boss fighting and such. But first of all, we do have a backstory for our musketeer. We are still waiting on one for our shield breaker. So if anyone wants to uh, write a backstory for the shield breaker, please do let me know because yeah, we're waiting on that one at the moment. But we do have one for our musketeer here. This is Sophie. Uh, this is one written by um, by Blank Gaming. So let's get right into that now. Sophie's family was more on the poor side when she was growing up. She was uh, she was ever only given what she needed, never what she wanted. This was until her father passed. She wasn't too close to him, but she still felt bad with him gone. After he died, she inherited lots of things from him as um. As only a child, include, uh, including a musket. She had no interest in using it, but decided there was no harm in trying. She quickly discovered she was a natural. With one clear shot, any target collapsed. She swept through the tournaments with ease, buying up all sorts of luxurious things with her prize money. She was happy, but still wanted more. The final tournament she entered had the most wonderful reward, the hand of the prince in marriage. Living with the prince would give Sophie everything she wanted, and she thought the princess herself was quite attractive too. After her victory, she lived with the prince, uh, princess for quite a while. Oh, sorry, I I've been saying prince, I meant princess. Um, I my apologies, I believe I've been saying prince this whole time. Let me just start that sentence again. Um, after her victory, she lived with the princess for a while until one fateful day. The princess had to visit um, a neighbouring estate for some political business, but she never returned. Sophie would, was devastated, Grab, uh, grabbed her musket alongside some supplies and headed to that state. She was determined to find out what had happened. She was certain she'd be able to get her revenge, the same way she had gotten everything she wanted before. Very, very nice. So, um, our musketeer is um, of the female-liking persuasion, which is an interesting character uh, development. I like that. I like to see some of that in our uh, in our roster. It's interesting to see but yeah I'm, I'm i'm interested to see what happens with the development of that story in terms of finding this princess is that going to be someone else among our roster eventually um or is that going to be someone that we find dead within the ruins i'm not quite sure but yeah i guess that's going to have to be something that we find out uh but we're going to be heading in over here to the ruins um, i'm going to go in for this short apprentice mission um to start with with this group here this is basically just, just going to be to Level these guys up a little bit, because uh, a few of them are quite low, and it should get these two to level two. But also because the reward is actually pretty darn good. Five accuracy to melee skills with no downside. Basically, to me, that seems like our ally or um, Archaeus could really, really use those uh, to good effect. So I definitely want to take those along with us and see how it goes. Uh, I've trinketed everyone up. We've got the extra damage here on Hestia, uh, going with that Gut Sword for the crit and damage, along with the um, Lloyd Sword Ring for that extra little bit of damage and accuracy when we're at max HP. We've got Lysander here with the insane healing trinket we just got, along with the prayer book we got as well for a whopping 55% increase to his healing skills, so that's going to be kind of insane. Um, we've got uh, Blaze here, who has the exotic snuff for that extra accuracy as well as the stun and move resist, and the Captain's Bottle just to res uh, resist as much disease as he possibly can. And then Viara here uh, is going to come along to grab some gold, mainly just coming in with the health trinkets to boost that maximum HP, just to try and help us out a little bit. We'll see how this goes. We do have a few diary entries to go through as we jump in here. So let's jump into our provision screen and get what we need. We still need to try out the summoning page at some point. If anyone can allude to what that's going to do for me, then I'll give that a go. Um... I already got one of those. And we'll take 10 of these as well. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's embark and let's get into our first diary entry of this episode. One moment. Okay, so first one here is from Chaos Athral, and this is by Rockerin. The head doctor looked um, to her pupils and health. Now here um, we have Cassius, here to focus his mind. Hardly literate, violent outbursts, hardly speaks, and struggles with harder words. Analysis, as she points to her quill at one of them, a young lad. He's an idiot, a bruiser, nothing more, as he shrugged. 
The others laughed as the head doctor put her hand to her face, then pointed to another. I believe he's just ignorant. She looked at the student. Explain your theory, then. Well, ma'am, he was raised as a killer, not a person. Why teach him anything else? I believe he is not as stupid as some would assume, but has little knowledge of anything but combat. The barbaric woman is on his, his only visitor, and he seems to enjoy the, their company. She talks, he listens, he hears her tales. Even the smuggled drink, uh, drink into the ward seems to be overlooked. As the head doctor walked with her nurses, passing Hestia with a crudely hidden flask, small enough to fit through the ward doors, uh, the ward's door slide window, she speaks out of earshot. He seems to dislike any and everyone, but respects her. Our job as doctors is to heal both physically and uh, his physical and mental wounds. Treatment, no matter how unconventional. If effective, it should be followed. Really, really like that. I'm, I'm loving the way that Chaos's uh, um, diary entries are coming in here. They're very, very interesting, sort of being from other people's perspective. It's, it's a great way of doing it. But yeah, let's go. We're doing all, um, uh, we're doing, explore all rooms here, or 90% of rooms, so we're just gonna head forward and see what we can do. I've already made a mistake here. I need to be um, picking stuff up with Viara whenever possible because we're gonna get more out of it that way. Hoping to get a little bit extra money. We've already got a good amount of money for how early on we are, to be honest, but you can you can never you can never complain about more. So of course we're just gonna go for that five dodge to start with. Um, and that's a beautiful kill off the bat there. I like that. A crit to get rid of the body as well. At the minute, they really like critting you, don't they? Um, we can buff dodge again here, which is really nice. It's kind of why I brought him for the buffs. There you go. A little bit of healing there. Probably should have uh, protected Viara over anyone there, actually, but it's fine. Let's go for a nervous stab on you. Why not? Because we can finish you off that way pretty easily. This is already a very, very succinct battle, even with that crit coming in. The stress isn't great. The bleed definitely isn't great, but... Overall, I think it matters not. You can set up that repose there as well, which is rather nice. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, that heals for literally double now. Heals for four. It's really, really nice. And then, obviously, still applies that restoration. Unfortunately, buffing our healing doesn't affect the amount of restoration we get at all, um, which obviously is a shame. Now, that stun attack there is something that we don't want to use a ton. But it's, it's good to have. it moves us forward and it's gonna knock us out of position from where we want to be really but momentum. otherwise it's pretty much Push fine to the tasks end. right keep going hopefully we've had a lot of curious to open here so that Viara can get us as much money as possible we've already whiffed on one but that shouldn't be too bad I think Lysander now is starting to fit in a little bit more um both Lysander and Blaze here are both kind of on redemption arcs coming to the hamlet here Facing their fears. Um, so it's kind of an interesting pairing between these two. They've already been out together once before, I believe. So maybe um, maybe a friendship could blossom between these two. Who knows? Who knows? It really depends with uh, the people in the hamlet at this point. There's um, just so much going on. And people have such varied agendas and reasons for being here. That you never really know. I mean, Chaos and Hestia have already formed that nice sort of weird bond that they have. Um... Which is really nice to see. It's an unlikely partnership, but one that I'm very welcoming of. Nice one. The Iron Swan is such a fun move. Buff that dodge, reduce that stress. Hope for the best. No move on us, good, good. Of all the damage we're taking here, it's not so bad. And we can just keep buffing dodge and get our dodge up to really, really great levels. And hopefully actually dodge things, but you never know. Right, we'll guard you. Gives us some healing. I don't know if uh, my percent healing is affected by my healing amount. I'm not actually sure. Because I have plus 55% healing, but does that affect my however much percent I heal with that uh, guard? Because I'm not entirely sure. Another, one. Another nice hit there. The damage that we can put out here is, is frankly quite ludicrous. We should also be using this a little more as well to lower that speed and dodge. Also, crits received while marked is not bad. Super nice though, that makes that ability so much better. We go for Retribution there, set up that Repurst. I want to get her up to full health if I can. Unfortunately, she refused healing, so I guess not. She does unfortunately have that 
slight niggling annoyance of potentially refusing healing here and there. It's not that bad for the most part, but with her being the uh, character that can gain more um, damage at max HP, it'd be nice to keep her at max HP if possible. Um, I know that's not going to bleed you, but it is going to hurt. There you go. And then get, getting up to max HP and keeping that extra 10% damage and whatever accuracy it gives. Pretty nice. There you go. Okay, we're getting a few bits here and there, but honestly, nothing substantial thus far. Um, Yara hasn't pulled anything out the bag quite yet. And unfortunately, our curios haven't been particularly fruitful. But that's just kind of how it is. Uh, we'll see what we end up finding along the way here. Hopefully not too many traps. Spoke too soon. Possessed by evil Spoke intent. too soon. This you can take for a bonus to your damage, I think it is. Oh, yes. 30% bonus damage for the rest of this mission. She is going to absolutely demolish anything that stands in our way here. And I very much like to see that. Of course, Lysander, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's maybe just his disposition um, in terms of what he's seen before he comes here. But they seem to know that he's weak of mind. They definitely do. Because every single time we bring him along, they can see it. And they always target him with the stress. Like, immediately. He is always... Always the first to take the brunt of the stress damage. I mean, he's already had a sanity check once before, um, and he's been close as well. Um, so I, I think I think they just kind of can see that he's struggling. Okay, we get possessed here, which is unlikely. Um, I think we resisted it though. We did good, good. Resisting the possess is very nice there. Checks you. Very nice. Getting that stress down is not exactly going to be easy. Um, but we don't need to particularly. Back to the Huge hits pit. there. 29 damage. We've got some, some leper style damage on Hestia here. She's Her damage range is probably going to be pretty nutty. I should actually take a little look at it and see what's uh, what it looks like. Because I bet it's kind of crazy. Yeah, 11 to 21. Pretty awesome. Um, honestly, I'm going to keep healing you and just try and keep you at that maximum HP. And we finish you off with that, lovely. Nice kill there. Journal page. Don't need to read that. Uh, actually? Eh, no, nah, we'll, we'll, we'll read that later. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this for now because we already have one of those. And make sure we open with you. Very nice. That's what the sort of thing I was looking for here. Get rid of that and that. Honestly, bandages as well. I know I shouldn't have really taken them out if I'm just going to throw them away, but still. Okay, nice. Unfortunately, already been looted. Not great. Um, let's see who we can do trap disarm on. 60, 60, 70. Okay, unfortunately, not great trap disarm. We did manage to get it there, though, luckily. Just, I was hoping it'd be on Lysander, who has a bit more stress. You never really know. Only the strength to follow it. Another hunger check coming in. I think someone's got uh, some extra hunger going on. Because we seem to be running out of food pretty quickly. I mean, I didn't bring a lot. Packs yeah, we've not, done, we've not done great on money here, I'll be honest. We've not, we've not done as well as I was hoping. I mean, we've still got a little bit left to go. So, I don't want to speak too soon. But I can't imagine we're going to get much more here. I mean, this was only a short mission to top us off. Um, and level these guys up. I expected it to be reasonably short, so I'm not that bothered by it. Oh my god, another food check. Wow. We could potentially get one more food check here. Um, and that would obviously be really bad, because we do not have the amount we need to actually heal up here. Um, so I wouldn't be a fan of that. We can actually leave after this fight, I think. Surprise is nice. Means we can get the um, hits off pretty quick. Means we can get the, the dodge going before any hits come in. Hestia should be able to take out the back line instantly. The damage is just so crazy that most of the time we're going to end up hitting pretty hard there. Let's go for a stun here. Why not? Stops one additional move at the start of their turn. The Empower followed by the Possess is going to be slightly annoying, but I'm glad I got that guy stunned. Although, did he? Oh, no, no. I was going to say, did that unstun him? It's just that he uh, passed his turn already. That's fine. We can bleed you, so why not? I mean, we got you, got you killed anyways. It's fine by me. 
I like that Hespia can basically target any position. Again, let's let's stun you. Why not? We don't really need the healing right now. You're at full HP. Yeah, I mean everyone's at full HP. Retribution there. You getting stealth is slightly annoying. It's only for another round the We'll do that to lower their speed and that dodge as well. A time to perform beyond nice. limits. Don't think we have any way to de-stealth here, but it's only this one more round, so it should be after this that it disappears. There you go. Get you to full HP. There you go. Nice one. Set up that repurse just in case. The repurse hasn't actually gone off yet, I don't think, but it's nice to have it regardless, even if it's not coming in handy all the time. Unfortunate miss there. We finish her off there. Good. good. Here we go. Here's the stuff that we're looking for. Okay, let's continue on because we've got a little bit more to do here. And we could we could potentially get a little bit more money out of this if we play our cards right. Also, Arbalist plus three crit chance. It's not insanely good. But I will take it because it's, it's we can sell it if we don't end up using it. Got rid of all my torches there. Let's see how that ends up affecting us. Now, who wants to... Probably Hestia wants to go for the bat, to be honest. She's, it's got low bleed as well, so we can use if it bleeds. And that shouldn't be too bad for us. I mean, they're all speedier than us at the minute, so... Yeah, let's go with if it bleeds on this guy and wake him up. We dodged the stress, which is nice. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, back to full again. It's nice because it keeps that restoration, so if she gets hit again, she might go back to full off of the restoration. You missed twice in a row, Bat. You're not doing all too well. You're not doing all too well. Stress is definitely eking up on Lysander here. Not particularly great. The will to fight falters. Okay. Try and take you out. The bleed should kill you now, right? Yes, it will. Good, good. Guard you to get that heal on everyone. I push you up to full as well. Awesome. Destroy. For that insta kill there. <sighs> Big crit. Could be a stun. Nah, luckily not. 71 stress up here. Like everyone else is doing pretty chill on stress. And mostly fine. Well, Xander's just losing his goddamn mind every time we take him out. Just do some good damage, though. Confidence nice. Surges as the enemy we can get through that prot as well if we'd like. Dead weight again. There's the stun. Not particularly great. I've moved Hestia back a little bit too far there, but all in all, it shouldn't actually matter. Extra damage to stuns. Lovely. Um, we do have four food now. Gonna get rid of the blood. Take that. There's a battle coming up here. Don't have any torches left now. Keep trying to torch up and I don't have any left. Surprise is lovely, especially on the lower light. Well, wouldn't have expected it. Sadly, didn't have that full HP, so didn't quite get the kill there. That 10% could have made the difference. Go for that off the bat this time. Lower all their speed. There we go. In comes all the hits. Lysander still taking a brunt of the beating. I think it's just because of his big stature as well. Everyone wants to fight him. You know, let's do that again and just lower your speed to oblivion. As well as your dodge. Nice. Good hit. That's a big hit right there. Wouldn't have expected that to come in, but we can deal with it. We can deal with it. Their formation is broken. Get that healing out when we can. 
Let's just go for the heal here. I know it's like not very worthwhile, only a two heal, but it's better than nothing. That gets us up to a good percentage. Good dodges here. The dodge is really paying off. Look at that. Beautiful. You are dead as well. We can do if it bleeds on that guy. A momentary Last bit of healing there. Still had to get hit though, didn't you? Go for the repost. Oh, a huge heal there of 18. Push you up to full. Make sure you don't get hit again as well, which is nice. Of course, Gloomy stressing everyone out, of course. And that's a huge hit there. Regardless of if we bleed or not. Success You're right. So clearly in view. Or is it merely Glad I kept this holy war on me now. Good stuff. Um we don't have any more curious left, so let's do that. I will take this battle. I know it's risky because it could be the collector. <laughs> Luckily it wasn't. And we got the surprise as well. I just think we can get more gold out of this if we take this fight. Honestly, we can kill with this. Yep, we did. Nice one. I'm going to try and kill you early rather than putting up our dodge here. Moving you forward probably wasn't the best decision there because, yeah. And we can only do this. Just move her. But stopped you getting a turn in, so I actually quite like that. The dodge to keep you at full HP is masterful. Abject terror. 100% horror amount. Luckily, you're almost dead now. Oh, the dodge is very annoying there. But this should kill... Oh, the dodge again? What dodge do you have? Lovely. Goddamn 15. Probably going to get a horror off on one of us at least. And we know who it's going to be, don't we? It's going to be this boy. Oh, it's going to be everyone. Fuck. Wow, okay. 12 stress on everyone. Luckily, we don't have to actually take that stress because we don't have to move. We did get a little bit extra here as well. Lovely. Okay. Very happy. But a victory nonetheless. Very happy with the result there indeed. We got our trinket. The shifted corridors got a good amount of money. We got two people to level two. Familiar. Fading isn't great. Furious is pretty decent for this guy. Got claustrophobia. Don't like that. And unwilling. Ooh. Not great um, traits a Across the board there. A fresh irritant to some. Um, Sophie underwent me. effect quirk treatment. Nice one. Lovely. Okay, so quickly remove our trinkets and sort them out again. Check what we got going on here if there's anything crazy good available. Unfortunately, not. Although, to be fair, the survival guide isn't bad. I'll buy that. That's not terrible. Um, God damn, 30 stress healing, man's 20 stress is insane. Plus 25, that's insanely good. It's also kind of cheap. Um, extra accuracy um, and dodge, crits received increased. Some really good ones here, right. Good to keep those in mind. Um... Right, let's let's have a look what we want to do next and see what we want, what sort of party we want to build out. Let's check what we got here first. The botanist, um, extra restoration amount minus blight uh, when applied. Lots of extra stress and all heroes. That's actually insanely good. Um, but we don't actually have a botanist yet, so it's not the best. We've got the poison dagger. On attack hit blight, on attack hit self blight. Ooh, okay. So, that's kind of an interesting idea. We apply blight on hit, but we've got a very high chance to also apply it to ourselves. One moment. Yeah, some interesting stuff available. That's, I don't know what to think about that. Because I feel like there's some classes that could like really vibe with that like crazy, but... You'd need to pair them with someone like a Lamia, like our Artemis here, that could remove um, that Blight. Just to make sure that it doesn't get too overwhelming. Uh, otherwise, I feel like it could really cause some issues. But it, it seems a lot like a lot of fun. Uh, we also have this here for the Plague Doctor. Um, 
Plus 7 HP heal. Oh, wow. Minus 50% max HP. That's kind of insane. We've also got the Hero Killed Party Block 1. Oh, insane. That's kind of that's kind of cool. So basically, if anyone in your party dies, everyone gets a block. So that just kind of keeps everyone safe. We've also got the this for the Antiquarium, which is also real heckin' good. We've got Musketeer here. Still got Courtyard to go to, but I still want to leave that a little while. Honestly, I'm not sure here. There's some good stuff. I think medium to the wield for this trinket is potentially pretty good. But I'm also definitely tempted by a long mission for the Sa Ring of Sacrifice. It seems like it wouldn't be super useful for the most part, but it could play a big role potentially later on. Um, just as a way to keep everyone going. So, let's take a look at building a party. I think first things first, let's get into another diary entry though. Um, this one's by Dr. Sandwich Junkie, and this is for our walleye, our um, leper. I think I may have found somewhere I can stay for quite some time. At least, I hope. A hamlet filled with fellow freaks and outcasts such as myself. None too put off by me, my, me or my rot disease. Not even the local priest rejects me on account of my differing faith. Are they truly the des um, that desperate for help here? Regardless, it doesn't matter. I was given a bed and free meals, so I suppose I shouldn't be complaining. What I'm more interested in is my comrades. The mission I was sent on shortly after I was moved into uh, uh, moved in turns out to be a re renowning success. That woman, Eileen, she introduced herself um, as is such in an, sorry she she introduces herself as such is an interesting character. She knows just what uh, to say to motivate me to do my best. I feel like I was being showered with praise and encouragement near constantly. And the um, only motivation, uh, that only motivated me to carry on. Dare I even say I should off a little bit. All in all, it feels good to have someone to protect me, uh, protect again. Maybe I have a real future here. Really, really like that. Really cool. So yeah, do we go on a long mission? Or do we just go for a, um, a medium? Let's build out a party first, shall we? And then see how we go from there. So, let's take our Musketeer out with us this time. Sophie, I think uh, we, we need that. She's got some good stuff going on. Um, let's take a look at her skills. So, we've got Aim Shot here, which has that crazy marked synergy. Book Shot has that armor piercing um, and different positional damage. It's kind of nice. We have the Piercing Round here. Uh, which is a free action. On kill refreshes use. It'll buff our armor piercing and damage. Lower our accuracy and speed. Not particularly good. Um, stealth while stunned. Oh, okay. That stuns us. And stealths us. Uh, we can do, do a retreating shot here to um, set up a repurse, which is interesting. We've also got Embolden here, which is going to be a Stress Heal, a Clear Stun, and a Buff. And then we've got the Skeet Shot, which is going to bypass Stealth, Mark, Increase, um, Crits Received, and de-stealth de the entire enemy party. I think we want to go for these ones, particularly. Um, and then we definitely need to pair her with some, some amount of Mark Synergy, if we can. Let's take a look what we've got in terms of Mark Synergies. We've got a few different options, really, of who to go for. I think um, Basilla here as our healer is a... Actually, do you know what? No. I was going to say Basilla. Let's go with Artemis, because um, we haven't brought her out in a little while. And she's a little bit lower level. And she is a very good healer regardless. So. Decent amount of fun to be had there. And then we can try and bring some more level 1s, or we can try and bring some level 2s. Chaos is, is of course, always fun. We've, we've been bringing out him out a lot recently. But maybe we could bring out the fire crew. They don't have a mark synergy really, but let's let's take a sort of look at what we can get done with these guys. Okay, we do have we do have mark target on red hot poker there, so that's some level of mark synergy, which I, I kind of like. And then Anya here has um, lacerate steam vent for lowered accuracy. Salamander's breath for that big damage. Okay, I think we can make this work. Got the fire guys. The fair with the sweet fire is really nice. Extra accuracy and speed percent. Okay. 
Ooh, although, yet again, we have this issue of the party surprise chance being really high if we pair these two t together. Which makes me think we might want to actually go with Basila anyways, because it's just going to cause a lot of issues if we have them two together. So let's take a look at what we can do for trinkets here. And um, so, because you have this, the accuracy and speed, we want to give you more accuracy and more speed, uh, really. So, we'll see what we can do in terms of accuracy and speed here. Um, you're going to be doing mainly ranged attacks. Yeah, we've got one melee, so that's not super useful. Um, anyway, we can buff up her speed. Well, accuracy there, we can take that. I don't think we have any buffs to speed at the moment. Let's just go with them two. I know that that's lowering her speed overall, but I think that's kind of a uh, okay combination. I think here we go with damage, so we go with the sword and also... Molotov cocktail damage isn't that good. Let's take that. Although, actually, your health is pretty low. Overall, both of your health is pretty low, actually. Let's take that instead. I know that puts our speed down to really low levels, but it's fine. Got the extra healing skill here, along with the disease resist, I think. And then you can take the, uh, the ring. And I think you have a specific trinket, don't you? Yeah, massive accuracy, move skill chance, and debuff chance. I quite like that. Um, what Do we have any move skill chance things here? We don't. So that does, the move skill chance doesn't do much. The debuff chance, however... Also actually not that useful. I suppose it's good here for our skeet shot. We'll see how this, plan, uh, this plays out. It might not be the most effective um, of crews. But I like the fire crew going out together. I think they can really pair well together. And I think this is a this is a decent setup. And it's also some people that need leveling up and a new class. So why the hell not? So let's go jumping out into our provision screen here. Let's um grab some food. We're going into the wheels at uh, medium mission, so we want 20 food here. We want to take five shovels. Eh, we'll take four. We'll, we'll, we'll risk it. Take four of those. Three of those. Two of those. Three of those. Two of those. We've got some extra loudon in there. I'll bring some extra loudon along. Why not? Just in case. And then we can go with... 14 shovels. I think we're good. We're golden there. You can do everything from here, right? Yep, you can. That extra healing is going to be kind of insane. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think this is a good group. I think they're raring to go. We're going to be using our Flame Gout and um, our Molotov Cocktail a lot here. We can use both of those from those positions. Good, good. I think we're ready to embark. And on to our last area entry of this episode. And again, by Dr. Savage Junkie. A crumpled sheet of paper found by a, um, found by a n nosy and now missing servant cleaning Hash... I can never pronounce this name. Hash... Ha... Hasasha? Ha... Has... Ashi? Hasashi's room. A blade split in two. A man afflicted with rot. Resounding courage. Eileen, ringmaster of death, runs a sure, deadly circus. Doesn't seem to care. Healer, old and wise. Quiet, professional, bold. Pain behind her eyes. My compassions for, uh, for my first outing were e um, exceptional. If I barely tolerate um, outside were exceptional, if barely tolerable, outside of combat. They got beyond themselves um, more than once, and needed a violent reminder of their own mortality. And that, if I run out of blood to shed, they are not out of the question for my next targets. Oh well. That's dark. <laughs> the I like it though. All good life right, from these I didn't groves. check for nighttime ambush prevention. Okay, um... I, I should check for that way more often. I always forget until we get in. Hey, there you go. We've got it there. Don't worry. We're good. We're good. We are all good. Right, let's push forward. We're completing 100% of room battles here, so this could be a rather long excursion. Wealth beyond measure. 
Could be. We'll, we'll, we'll see though. We'll see. We'll go this way first. We will use this on here. Thank you. Get a bit of extra stuff from there. My first bit of combat. Hopefully we don't get rabies here from anyone. These guys can cause rabies pretty easily. Um, let's give you the damage and uh, accuracy and crit. Decent damage there across the board. Lower everyone a little bit. I believe coming in straight off the bat. Steam vent here will go for to lower that accuracy across the board. Hopefully that'll make a difference. Fortunately, we still get crit blight there, which I do not like. Deafening goes for more stress as well. We can go Molotov on the back line here for a bit of extra damage. And that extra fire damage taken is really nice too. Rabid Rush coming in again. Still no rabies, luckily. Nice. Give them that, that attack's going to be really useful. We'll go for a full party heal here. Six on everyone, gets everyone up to full HP. We're all still taking bleed and blights, but it's, it's nothing crazy. There's that huge damage. Gotta love it, that buff is really, really nice. Nice fire there as well. These two just pair together so damn well. Stylistically, they just, it's so good. Okay, they are bringing in reinforcements, of course. Go for the party heal again. Just top everyone up. We'll go for the aim shot this time. Good damage. Molting again. God damn. Literally healed up that entire attack. Don't like to see that. Hey, at least you died quick. Also, the, f the fact that these like some of these attacks give us torch, like, like this one gives us five torch, and I think one of these gives us a bit of torch as well, doesn't it? I'm not quite sure, but good stuff. Again, just top everyone off, keep everyone at high HP, and there you go. We burn these woods to the ground. We destroy in every way that we can. Doesn't matter who takes the contents this time around. Completely fine to go whichever way we want. We don't have Viara with us this time around. Okay. Did get surprised, which is really nice. That extra surprise chance um, from Basilla here. Right, so. Let's go with this first. Accuracy debuff. Let's try and take you out. Awesome, awesome hit off the bat there. Maintain the offensive. Let's go for a buff on you again. I think that buff really helped last time. And let's just go for an incinerate off the bat. I realize it does six damage to ourselves, but it's so easily healable with the extra healing buff we've got going on. But it's a really good way to start off, and it gives um, it gives Sophia a chance to actually do some killing blows, which I really like. She can go boom and get a kill. Prove her worth. And then yeah. That heals up almost entirely of that. In fact, we probably want to use that more. Opec Corpse, um, minus damage taken. That's kind of interesting. So how much damage would this potentially do? 6 to 10. 3 to 6. We, we can kill with this. Unfortunately, we didn't. The way but... is lit. The path is clear. We require all I'll do this again because it'll kill you and then lower your accuracy by a lot. But should mean you miss. Yes. That's what we like to see. Let's clear some stress here. Again, top everyone off. Keep everyone at full HP. And then flame on. Unfortunately, resisted that debuff. And the uh, accuracy kind of wore off there. Poker comes in. As the enemy crumbles. Oh, that's a lot of valuables inside that tent. Wow. Um, get rid of the extra shovel to take this. And get rid of the holy water for this. And that's a good shout. Scouting here is lovely. Okay, that's a lot of shovel usage. Ah, oh, bollocks. We're going to have to go down there. 
and I just got rid of a shovel, and we, we, we'll only have one shovel left for all of those rooms. That ain't great. It would have been good to have that scouting beforehand. That's a lot of shovel usage coming out here, but I have to go this way. A victim to the spreading corruption. Wow, we got to be very hopeful we don't get too many more shovels later on, because that is really unfortunate, only having one shovel left after all of this. I do not like that As at all. Gains purchase, okay, a few lifted, more of these fellas. And purpose is made clear. Nice crit. Doing that because it's going to destroy our body, which reduces the damage we take. That, back to back, then moves are just kind of outstanding. That might be a good opener just any time for any battle. Like, as long as we can heal that off us reasonably quickly. Yeah, as long as we can sort that issue out. Decay. Okay, just left a body. Oh, unfortunate miss there. Bad for a... Good dodges, though. Nice. Got lucky with the decays there. No extra combat coming our way. Extra food, I guess we just eat. Push on to the task's end. Um, and here, let's get rid of medical herbs, maybe? I don't know, that might, that might not have been the greatest idea. Anyways, let's hop back this way. Yeah, the shovels are definitely going to be a problem. I feel like we're definitely going to get more than one additional shovel check. Uh, we did get a trap here. 80, 80, 60, 90. There you go. Sophie definitely coming in clutch with a trap disarm. Still waiting on the trap maker to arrive. We've got a few classes that I'm really, really hoping arrive pretty soon. Oh, shit. What is this? Face the gallows. What on earth is this? I do not know what we're looking at here. This is the, this is a new... I think it's a mini boss. I honestly don't know. But I'm a little bit scared. I mean, I think... I think we should be able to kill it really easily with just stacking fire damage. We'll see. But I, I don't know what this does. The Noose Titans. Holy shit, the increased crits, the 8% increased crits, working out pretty well. The animations are a little glitchy on this guy because of the uh, zoomed out perspective, but... Okay. Holy crap, this thing's going down fast. The crits are coming in hot and fast. Okay, this thing was potentially quite scary, and okay, that's what that does. Didn't end up mattering to us all that much, really, in the end. Lots of blight coming out there. Face the gallus. I think we just got some really key dodges early on. It's going down next turn. Noose Titans. Resisted both, lovely. Wow, the crits came in crazy there. A mini boss taken down very, very quickly. Wow, that was unexpected, but uh, went pretty well. Okay, for the rape here, we have... Ooh, that's actually really, really good. Uh, this here, do we have anyone that doesn't have a trinket on? Unfortunately, I don't think so, no. Okay, uh, I definitely want to take this. I'm going to take it for the Loudenum. Extra bleed skill chance. Bleed amount when applied versus bleeding. And extra bleed d duration received. Like, the duration received is fine, but that that's pretty good. And then we've also got this lesser juju here, which is armor piercing crit for slightly less accuracy. I do want it, but I just don't have the space for it, so I'm going to leave it. But yeah, interesting. The Gallows Tree. That is definitely a new mini-boss type enemy. Um... Obviously, the level 1 variant of it isn't too punishing. And also, we just got incredibly lucky with some early crits there. I mean, Sophia... Um, yeah, Sophie, sorry, not Sophia. So Sophie really provided there and showed her might with those additional crits applied. That, that kind of worked out like magic, really. 
got a decent trinket out of it. And just a really interesting fight. I mean, we didn't get to experience too much of it. And I, it might have some uh, extra moves we didn't even see because we killed it so fast. But it's stuff we've got to be aware of nowadays. Okay, we did get a secret room. We unfortunately do have one more, but we only have one shovel, so that's fine. Nice disarm there. I'm not going to have a lot of space for the secret room stuff. I'm hoping we get a, a collector's head. We're still waiting on some of those, so I'm hoping. But we'll see. Go this way first. Get the shovel cleared and out the way. The box gives us some more heirlooms. Nice. Are often low on so many supplies. hunger checks here. We haven't camped yet. Um, we probably should camp now after this. Okay, we can insta kill both of these. A blazing star is born. Reduce that stress there. Heal. Oh, that heal is so strong. There you go, look at that. Beautiful. Um, bandages, yeah. Is a slow and insidious killer. Good stuff. And we'll go camp. Oh, we can't camp while we're holding this, unfortunately. I thought we could. Right, camp. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet we don't be need won. to do the stress heal, to be honest. I'm just going to go for this. Right, let's have let's have a look what we got going on here. Self only, prevent nighttime ambush definitely. Go with that. Go with that, and then. Yeah, there you go. That'll do. Nothing crazy we need to do there. Good to go, guys. Got an extra battle coming along this way, though. It's gonna happen quite a lot, unfortunately. Ectoplasm. Ooh, this might be a really good contender for the insta-kill, to be honest. That's three of you really hurt already. Just... That is just such an insanely cool opening move. I really love that. And then we can do this to like top them back up for the next fight. Because they only usually take about six damage so it works out. Wow. These two just pair together so damn well. Right, let's check over here first, because we've got some curios and stuff to get some stuff from. Ooh, a collector. Now, that would be spicy. <laughs> Not collector, sorry. Uh, I can't remember what they're called now. It's tempting to go for it, I'll be honest. We have the, we have the ability to go for it. Nice kill. Certainly tempting, because we're all low stress and everything. Of skill and purpose. Ah, oh, really? I miss on that. It's gonna get a grave nibble in now and stun you. You fool. Impressive. Good crit, though. Success so clearly in view, or is it merely a trick of the light? I've got a shovel back. Yeah, I don't know. I maybe want to go for that. It's 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 a level one, so it's a little like it's not as scary, and we can just bail if it gets too crazy. Let's assess after this. Leave the secret room for now. Spiders are fine. Nice. Web coming in. Oh, the poker. God damn it. It misses so often. 
These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Doing really well for gold and stuff here. Right, last battle. Kind of a hard one. Not terrible. Our opening move doesn't work as well when these guys are at low HP, so let's not do it. Let's just go for the molly on you. He resisted though, God damn it. Followed by the flame. Didn't resist that time, good. Just all the damage on the deer. Everyone healed up. He basically, my reasoning right now is just with such low stress. The biggest problem with that fight is the stress incoming. Good, you're dead. The greater the glory. I'm just feeling confident right now, which is bad. <laughs> I shouldn't be, but I am. I think I'm gonna do it, you know. I think I'm gonna do it. I think we have the power. I'm, I'm like, my heart rate is raising just thinking about it, but I think I'm gonna do it. We need, a, we need a torch available to do it though. Let's just make sure we have a torch. Okay, we have eight, that's fine. Ghoulish horrors. I'll leave them. Brought low and driven into the mud. I'll leave them. Right, back. Check our secret room first. See what we got going on here. We did get ahead. 25% damage against humans. 25 That's pretty good. And then we can go with that for the anti-venom. This is risky as shit. But I'm feeling it. Right, first of all, we need to pre-shuffle. So, we bring you all the way up front here, and you here. And that, that, that pre-shuffles us. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do it. Behold the infinite that did not, that did the not stars. work out the way I was hoping it would. Okay, let's, let's get everyone back in position first. Okay. We can re uh, retreat when we need to, if things get a little too hectic. Stress is likely to get insane here. Steam vents will lower that accuracy. There you go, we're back in position now. And we just stack fire damage on you with a resist uh unfortunately resisted but we'll try to stack keep healing up god i'm so stressed right now lead there that's fine the clapper claws are really going to be the big problem because they can just deal so much um stress damage and damage itself obviously The mark and the crits received is super nice. Everyone gets that heal. Hopefully we get more crits like this. Unfortunately, just the, the, the debuff resist is triggering quite a lot right now. There's a lot of bleed everywhere. Oh god, I'm so stressed right now. We do, we do have to kill these after she dies as well. We've got to be aware of that. What's your bleed resist? We could go with bleed on you. Let's try that. That's decent, yeah. Good damage on the mark there. Does have quite a lot of prop. Good dodge. Good crit. Awesome. Fire damage received as well is going up. Clapper Claw damage is just so high, and obviously the stress that comes with it too. Good damage. 
No, you can't be missing right now, my good dude. Let's get that back on. Oh my god, good dodge again, guys. Good dodge again. Please give us six heal. Yes. Highest heal, what we need. Oh, that damage is so high from these guys. We just get so much damage increase as the fight goes on. Like, the longer you leave them alive, the worse it gets, but... Also, she can just create more of them, so it's kind of like you've got to kill her first anyways. A momentary abatement. No one's going for uh, Sophie, <laughs> Sophie here. Okay, that's you dead. Now we just got to take out these things. No place for mortal men. They have quite a lot of prot, so it's going to take a bit of doing. It's probably going to be the hardest part of the fight thus far. I'm actually glad you're going for her, because she's been staying at health up high. Although, yeah, now now I feel less uh, happy about that. Set the stage for heroism. 46, goddammit. I'm going to play it out. I know it's risky to do this. Oh, don't dodge, because they could just kill her. I'm taking the risk. We we've come this far. We've come this far. We could kill her. Oh, dude, stop with the crits, please. They get 20% crit there, look. Another crit coming in. Such a terrible assault. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> I was not ready for this. I thought it was going to go okay. One dead. This could still end in a kill for Bacilla here. A death even. I'm just playing it the best I can. Dude, you cannot be missing right now. got four HP left. We can do this. With only one left, it's going to put us on death's door, but we should be able to heal before anything happens. As long as, like, the resolve doesn't fuck us over. Irrational. We don't hit each other and kill each other. We should be okay here. Two HP. There you go. We got it. Holy hell. 25% extra HP. Okay, good stuff. Right, let's get rid of some crap we don't need here. Torches. Just gobble down all this food. Give me that. Definitely give me that. And... What else do we get rid of here? Okay, I don't think we need to get rid of anything else. Okay, I think we're good. Wow, okay, so stress obviously across the board, kind of dire there, but we came out of that alive, and I feel like that was something that we had to do. But one that must be fought. I feel like that was something that I had to try, just because it was risky as all hell, but we came out of it with not the best ancestral trinket, but a decent one, plus 25% max HP is nothing to turn our nose up at. Um, and also, it's just kind of nice to prove to ourselves that we could do it. We've also got a lot of money now. Um, 10 accuracy on melee skill, minus 15 stress. Well, that's actually really good. Holy hell. What on earth? That thing's obscene. You get... Plus 20 to all of your skills, plus 20 to all of your resists, and then minus 2 speed. Let me know if I should buy that. That's also really good too. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about buying some of those. Let's check what we got in our Nomad Wagon here. And finally, yes, our Vigilante Bagman. Bagman. Bagman is here. Oh my god. And he got some really good stuff here as well. Um, good stuff. Plus 10 max HP. That's insane. Yeah, Bagman we've been waiting on for a while. Glad to bring him aboard. So we have Bagman and our Shield Breaker for backstories. Bagman's already written. So whoever wants to write Shield Breaker, please do go ahead. Um, yeah, what do we want to do for upgrades here? Um, we probably want to try and upgrade the amount of slots we have in some of these, right? Reduce. These are, these are all reduced cost. What about this? Reduce cost. Increase uh, number of medical ward slots. 
I'll leave that for now. Uh, let's let's quickly check on our blueprints and stuff. See what we've got going on in there. So maybe there's something we can get to. The bank is still obviously very far away. Puppet theater would be really really good to grab. Okay, first of all, let's let's go and put all, all of these in there. Uh, in where they need to be. Okay. You can go there. You can go there. Sophie, you can go there. And Anya, you can go to the brothel. Nice one, guys. Very, very good work. That was very stressful, and I definitely shouldn't have done that. But, I don't know, I'm a risk taker. But yeah, Bagman, so happy to have him. He's a really fun class and has a really interesting backstory. We actually already got one of his diary entries from when he was wandering around the ruins. So super happy to have him on board. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.